NVMEs have been an incredible addition to the consumer computer space and one of the more unusual but very, very helpful use cases for an NVMe drive is to turn one of these little guys into a portable drive like this. And these portable drives are quick, but you know what's also quick? Setting up your stream with our sponsor. Owned Pro is a plugin for OBS Studio that allows you to start streaming in seconds. It includes overlays, stream event lists, stream labels, chatbot, copyright free music, and you can join for free or you can add the pro plan, which gives you over 410 premium overlays and alerts and 24 seven customer service support. So if you want to sign up now and get access to all of these great features, go ahead and click the link down in the description below and you can use code CADEC for 50% off a yearly subscription. So over the last couple of years, NVMEs have become extremely affordable and even in the higher capacities like one terabyte and two terabyte. Now, a couple of years ago, I was able to pick up a few one terabyte Western Digital SN750s for under hundred Canadian, which is an incredible deal. And I used almost all of them except for one. I didn't have any more M.2 slots in any of my computers. So I was trying to figure out a way that I could use this without it just, you know, sitting in a desk or selling it off to somebody. And then I remembered that before I used to take old, you know, three and a half millimeter or even two and a half millimeter drives and turn them into portable drives for when I'm using on a laptop or for when I go over to somebody else's house or for watching movies off of all these kinds of things. And I remembered that you could probably do that with an M.2. In December, I bought a laptop so that I could do some editing on the go, but I wanted to make sure that my projects between my desktop and my laptop were consistent, were the same. I had all the assets no matter what. So I didn't feel like one terabyte was enough storage for that. So I ended up buying a two terabyte drive, which you know I felt was gonna last a little bit longer for me, be able to hold a lot more projects, hold a lot more assets on there. And so I ended up buying this and then I ended up buying a new enclosure. So the enclosure I picked up is by SoKiwi. It's a pretty sweet little thing. It comes in two pieces. It requires no hardware, which is really nice. It just uses a clip uh, for a quick release. And it comes with USB-C to USB-C or USB-C to USB-A. And honestly, it is incredibly shocking how easy this is. You just take the insert for the enclosure. You put your little drive in there like so and you clip it down like that. And there we go. I've already made a portable hard drive. I don't even have to put the heat shield on it if I don't want to, because my drive comes with an integrated one and it works pretty well. Um, there we go. I have a portable hard drive, two terabytes of NVMe storage, blazing fast. So the great thing about this is that it reads very similar to the way a standard portable drive will read. You can eject it. Um, it kind of reads as if it's like one of the my books where you can't eject the actual drive itself from in the file system You have to go down to the eject safely icon and choose the Home that the drive lives in and I know that editing is kind of a niche use case for this But there are other incredible use cases for having a portable drive That's this fast and this large as well If you're someone who has a laptop that maybe doesn't have a lot of internal storage and it's non upgradable for you you can make one of these, put one of these together. You can load all of your games onto it and it will run extremely, extremely smoothly, uh, a lot better than a you know spinning disc, for example. And one of the bigger benefits of the M.2s over say converting a two and a half millimeter drive is just the, the form factor is incredible. I can put this in my pocket. Um, I can put this you know, in a tiny little pocket in one of my bags. It fits anywhere. It, it's so much easier to carry around. Um, you know, it's really light, really small. And in the last year or two, M.2s have been the same price as the two and a half inch equivalents, uh, the same capacities and the same speeds. So, you know, it's really a no brainer to get one of these. Now, in the past year or so, a lot of the portable SSDs like the SanDisk Extreme have been about the same price as the NVMe counterparts. So at the lower capacities, like a terabyte and 500 gigs, it's usually better to go with those. They will be a little bit smoother in terms of the connection and disconnection process. Um, a lot of them are rubberized so that they're just a little bit more durable. Another big difference is the listed speed for the M.2s versus the portable drives. 
The M.2s, because they go through the M.2 interface, typically they're going to be listed with a much higher speed. But because they're going through the USB instead of an M.2 slot, their speeds are going to be significantly limited. I did, however, run the Western Digital um, in Crystal Mark, and I got around 950 read and about 980 in writes. So, you know, relatively fast. Unfortunately, I do not have one of the portable uh, SanDisk drives to do a comparison to see, you know, if in the exact same conditions with Crystal Mark, what their speed comparisons would be like. But speed is just one of the factors. One of the other major factors is that once you go to two terabytes, the NVMe drives are usually significantly cheaper than the portable drives. And that's why I decided to go this route. So the two terabyte portable drives usually hover around 230 to 250. Meanwhile, in the new year, the M.2 drives at you know two terabytes in this mid-tier range are usually hovering right at $200. And the final benefit of an M.2 drive over just a regular portable drive is the fact that if you don't wanna use it in portable anymore and you wanna throw it into a computer, you just open up the enclosure, toss it into an M.2 slot and you're done. I am not saying, however, that the M.2 drive is the better solution, but it was the better solution for me. And actually, I had purchased this M.2 drive to be put into my laptop, and unfortunately, this one wasn't compatible, and I had to get another one. By the time I realized that this drive was the pr problem with my laptop, and it wasn't my laptop that was an issue, I couldn't return it. So I decided to make the best of the situation and turn it into a portable M.2. If there's any one thing you should take from this video is that having a portable SSD is an incredible lifesaver, whether you're going to be using it for games, for videos, for editing, for photos, for any kinds of storage. They are great, especially if you're on the go a lot and if you try to do things away from your desk. If you have a desk and a laptop or you just have a laptop that maybe doesn't have a lot of storage, these are just such a great option. Even the standard portable SSDs are a really great option for you. Now, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below, and I will try to get to them all as quickly as possible. I'd like to thank my patron sponsors, Rojo Son of Dojo, Thought Slime, and Step Back, and also want to thank you for watching the end of this video. As always, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Friday.